Here in this video, I will explain all the 11 dimensions one by one. The video will be more and more interesting as we proceed. So stay with me till the end. Let's start with the zero dimension. Zero dimension. A point is an example of the zeroth dimension that has no length, no breadth, and no height. A zero dimensional being cannot move in any direction and is fixed to a point. First dimension. A straight line is an example of first dimension that has only one dimension, length. A one-dimensional being can move only in one direction, that is, on a straight line. Second dimension. Second dimensional or 2D objects are flat shapes like squares and triangles. Motion of a two-dimensional being is restricted to a plane surface, therefore, it cannot move upward or downward. Third dimension. Third dimensional objects have three dimensions, length, breadth, and height. Solid objects like cubes and spheres are examples of 3D objects. We humans are three-dimensional beings, as we can move freely in three-dimensional space. Fourth dimension. Time is considered the fourth dimension. A four-dimensional being can move freely in time dimension and has full control over time. He would be able to move in any desired direction in time past or future. A person living in the fourth dimension can go to a certain point in past time and change its decision. But if we consider the fourth dimension from the geometrical point of view, then hypercube is a four-dimensional object. It is also called a tesseract. A hypercube is four-dimensional analog of the cube. Fifth dimension. A fifth dimensional being can move freely in time, either in past or future as per his wish, and is able to be present at different locations at the same time. He can do many jobs and have different hobbies simultaneously. Actually, parallel universes exist in the fifth dimension. Therefore, your separate versions can exist in parallel universes having separate timelines. But one limitation of fifth dimension is that you cannot meet your self-version directly by using shortcuts to another timeline of parallel universe. Sixth dimension. In the sixth dimension, you have all the powers that you possess in the fifth dimension. You can see all the presents, pasts, and futures of all the parallel universes. But one limitation of the sixth dimension is that all the parallel universes must have the same beginning or the initial condition, that is, the Big Bang. But in the sixth dimension, you are free from the limitations of the fifth dimension, as you can easily jump from the timeline of your universe to any point present on the timeline of any parallel universe and meet your self-version. In the sixth dimension, your multiple versions can live their lives in parallel universes simultaneously. Seventh dimension. All the powers of a sixth dimensional being are possessed by the being of seventh dimension. He can have infinite forms of itself and can move from one universe to any other universe. Unlike the sixth dimension, the seventh dimensional universes may have originated from different start conditions, not just the Big Bang. Eighth dimension. The eighth dimension has a plane of all the possible presents pasts and futures for all the infinite number of parallel universes. According to the string theory, in the eighth dimension, objects do not have any physical existence, like our digital world, where we cannot touch the objects but only can see or hear them. In the eighth dimensional world, things can change shapes, size, and appear or disappear instantly, somewhat like the virtual reality. Ninth dimension. In the ninth dimension, universes may have their own laws of physics and separate conditions and probabilities of their origin. Surprisingly, in the ninth dimension, many civilizations or aliens may live simultaneously at the same place. These coexisting civilizations may not see or feel the presence of each other. The superpowers of a ninth dimensional being will blow your mind. 
he would have no physical form and would be able to move freely in space and time in any of the universes. Tenth Dimension The tenth dimensional being would possess infinite powers that are beyond your imagination. It would be possible for him to control even the space-time and everything present in all the infinite number of universes. Because of the infinite powers of the tenth dimensional being, some researchers also suggest that the god lives in the tenth dimension. Eleventh Dimension According to the string theory, everything in the universe is made up of infinitely small one-dimensional vibrating loops called strings. These strings vibrate in 11 dimensions. Even the subatomic particles like electrons, protons, and neutrons are made up of strings that vibrate and rotate at the speed of light. Unique manner of vibration of strings is responsible for the unique characteristics of each subatomic particle. Size of a string is infinitely small. It is of the order of 10 to the power of minus 33 centimeters. 10 to the power of minus 33 centimeters is actually millionth of a billionth of a billionth of a billionth of a centimeter. Didn't get it? Let's understand it with an analogy. If we increase the size of an atom up to the size of the whole observable universe, then the size of the string would be just equal to a tree. So friends, these were the 11 dimensions. If you found the video interesting, then please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.